Hello, welcome to Val's Crafty Creations and part two of my Saturday shopping trip. Since I knew I'd be stopping at Michael's, I found my gift card that I won from doing the spool challenge and I went online to see what coupons were available and also check out all the Christmas items, see what was on sale and I looked in my Christmas drawer and I know I really stocked up, but I am doing the Christmas extravaganza swap and I wanted to look for items that I could add to her package. My husband dropped me off. I was going to have about a half hour. I started right in the front with the Christmas section and from what was still available, I was able to get the pack of glittery candy canes in years past when I have got them there was not any green ones and they also didn't come with the peppermints so I was excited to find those and let's see all of the Christmas was 50% off getting prepared for the shopping trip I wrote myself a note to make sure to ask the clerk for my senior discount a 10% all the items that were $4.99 came down to 224 so that was this one here and so we got those and the other item that was right there that was on my list was the clay santa bits and those were 3.99 so those came down to a dollar 80 only other item that i thought i could use from the christmas section was the candy cane epoxy stickers and luckily there was a couple of those left the those ring up at $1.79 so good deal there and then let's see oh and I then I headed to my left for the jewelry department it said they were in stock so I wanted to grab that let's see so that came down to $1.99 so good deal there and next in line was the fabric department because I wanted to look for some bee themed fabric to go with the charm as part of the project I'm working on so luckily I just happened to see this one fat quarter and so I grabbed that that was a dollar ninety nine regularly and twenty percent coupon so that rang up at a dollar sixty so there's that I noticed the fall display and everything was 70% off so I, I only decided to get the pumpkin shapes okay so $1.50 for this since it was discounted and I couldn't quite decide what to use my gift card on but I knew that I needed to restock on my white 65 pound paper that I use on all my projects so I went ahead and grabbed that they were not on sale so I just stuck to the one. Those are now up to $6.99. So I got my 10% off of that. So that was $5.59. Well, I better hit up the clearance area. And so I got lucky and I found these gold sequins. And also in that area was some, I see it's a nine piece lobster claw pack. And you get silver, gold, and then the black finish, $3.99 down to $2. $1.99 down to $0.50. Cents. That was a good deal there. I came around to the checkout area. I saw these cupcake liners. So Santa called to me. And if you saw one of my other videos where I explained finding cupcake liners that have a design in the center that you can cut out. So this rang up at $1.80. So I was glad to find a new design. And also there were the socks. When I was at Dollar Tree, I forgot to circle back and find some for my swap partner. So these rang up at $1.79. And I really liked the pattern. So, yep, yeah, got some few, few things. Work on my swap. All set for that. Got some paper restocking. I used my gift card. A B-themed project. So the grand total was... $28.91 then she took off the gift card so $18.91 and it says that I saved 22 dollars 
and I even got a 30% off coupon to use. Uh, if I decide I need something else, I have a few days. So give me a minute here. I will go ahead and get these items cleared out of the way and gather up the items that I picked up at Walmart, which was the next stop on the Saturday shopping trip. Once again, my husband dropped me off and I was going to have about 15-20 minutes to run around the store and see what I wanted to get. I usually just head right down the side of the store and that takes me directly to the crafting area. And But of course I had to pass by the Christmas section and I saw the peppermint candy swirl cupcake liners there and they were only $1.38 so uh, twice the amount for 40 cents less. Great to have those also in my stash and see so we yeah, have got the baking cups oh and and one of my groups is doing the wood shapes uh, heart shapes for Valentine's so I had to look for that and luckily I found one and so this was a dollar twenty seven and since I was working on the bee project I wanted to hopefully find some wooden bees and but that didn't work out I end up finding three suns, 72 cents each. And then we have, uh, so kept circling around and I found saw these birthday stickers. I do have a pack of these in my stash, but I thought I would go ahead and grab another one. So birthday stickers were $1.07, Sticko brand. And this is a 30 piece pack. It was three twenty four, And so, Looks like a lot of fun shapes and designs in here. Got cupcakes and ice cream, balloons. They're at three dollars. I thought that was quite reasonable. So good deal there. And then I was going to the beading, so I found containers again. And uh, like last time, they jumped to a dollar fourteen. But when we were checking out, there was no label. And so I asked one of the clerks to help me, and she just ended up ringing it up at a dollar. So that was great. And I was looking for some silver angel charms, and I just happened to see one string. And so I grabbed that. It says seven inches, like a dozen or so. Three ninety-eight. And then I've been wanting black chain. And in the past, I've mentioned that they come with the clasps and some jump rings so that you can make a necklace right away and that was 322 and the 39 piece pack of ribbon crimps and the three different sizes let's see this is 266 so I thought that wasn't bad and so that'll be great I can make a lot more of my ribbon bookmarks with those and let's see then I circled over to the buttons and since I couldn't find the wood shapes bee theme, I went for the bee themed buttons. And so you get a nine piece pack. And I thought those were just so cute. Kind of a new design I hadn't noticed before. $2.57. So I saw that. And then there was only one pack of these. They're called Bug Eyes. And there's a bee in here. So I thought that was cute. And those were $2.22. So. Then I happened to be over in the passing by the fabric area and I saw this 4th of July fabric. So I thought that would be cool to have on hand. $1.47. And then I happened to notice the box of Thanksgiving and fall fabric. So I picked up this one here, all the colors in it. So, and that one was $1.97. I think I pretty much tackled everything on my wish list or my shopping list and got a lot of great deals. Like I said, I love shopping at Walmart. So I plan to take advantage of Subway Sandwich being there in the store. And so we ordered our sandwiches and there was a little bit of a mix up. I ended up getting sriracha sauce on my sandwich, exhausted and hungry. I just went ahead and ate it, let's see, from one to six. So we were gone for five hours, but I'm 
really glad that I got to go. Thank you so much for stopping by, following along. If you didn't see part one, go check that out. I'll be back again as soon as I can with some crafty projects. You take care and bye for now.